Hi, Connor. Hi. Thanks for helping my project. Yeah, of course. Uh, did you know that NASA's friend is an astronaut to the moon? Uh, in all honesty, I have heard some things about it, and in my honest opinion, if they can find anything else that is up there that they may have missed, okay. it might be a good opportunity to figure out, like, maybe there's one small thing that could be hidden that was not seen before the last time they went up. Okay. Um, I, I mean, since last time we went to the moon, we discovered that there might be water ice frozen in these permanently shadowed craters on the poles of the moon. Of course. Uh, so, um, one of the things they want to do is see if that's real. And yeah, and if it is, then all that would really need to be done is figure out a way of, like, possible atmosphere breathability. Mm -hmm. uh, and and figure out how to get things to possibly grow up there too. Because they'll have one uh, part of it already if that is actually real. And if it's not, then we may have to start looking at other places, but I am hoping that it is real. It does at least have a good view um, it does. You know, the, of the earth and stuff. Yeah. Um, so you're kind of excited about us going back if there's a purpose. Yes, if there's a purpose uh, and, and if things go how they expect it to go, then I think it's gonna be a great thing. And uh, when you think about 200 years out in the future, do you see having places like Dragon Slayer on like the moon and Mars or only here on Earth in like 200 years? In all honesty, with places like this, I would say that it wouldn't just stay on one place. Like if people have heard about it or uh, wanted to do something similar to it, then I would say that it would be good for them to try to move it to where they're, they are now. Uh, so you, in 200 years, you do see people living like yeah, their everyday they're still life. Living, they're uh, still living this lifestyle. But in on Mars. Yeah. Uh, okay, that's cool. And uh, if you could, would you take a trip to space? In all honesty, I think I would try it once, mm. just to see how it would be. Because honestly, with the idea of the low gravity, of course, we uh, to be livable, some places would have to be uh, fixed gravity so that uh, we wouldn't just be floating off or <laughs> stuff like that but do you think you'll get a chance in your lifetime in my lifetime uh, in all honesty not okay. really but i would still like to try it my chance at it well connor thank you so much for your time it's such a pleasure to get to speak yeah, to you of course